that there are a number of real problems in improving math education in the state that are not actually part of the standards. Um, I think the standards are necessary for us to have a quality set of standards that people can understand that actually reflect a competitive level of mathematics. The current law school is about an eighth grade level of mathematics, uh, and it is not adequate for, for students. Um, deeper problems are that we have 50,000 teachers today, and while many of them do have a fair amount of mathematical expertise, many of our elementary school teachers, in fact, perhaps most, don't. Uh, and this is a severe problem uh, because in order for them to effectively teach mathematics, they have to be able to understand it or they have to have tremendous materials. And this has been one of the problems with discovery mathematics. If you have an amazing teacher and a small class size and you can be really engaged, it's a very powerful way to learn mathematics. However, Neither of those situations are true in Washington, in general. And it's very hard to talk about teacher quality in a statistical way. And I don't want to talk about teacher quality. I want to talk about this is a level of preparation in a particular area of expertise. So we're going to have to raise our level of content knowledge requirements for people entering the teaching profession, particularly in the elementary grades. And we're going to have to actually be serious about enforcing the No Child Left Behind Highly Qualified Teacher Standards in middle and high school. And that is going to be difficult uh, because, for example, today, I have no information system that tells me what a teacher's certification is. Uh, there's a pile of paper in the basement of the castle in Olympia that you can do this, but it's not possible to do it in any statistical way. So one actually has to sort through the paper. We have to find a couple million dollars to create a system that works better for that. Uh, so that we can tie those results to student learning results and actually track what knowledge really does matter in improving uh, education results. Um, next big issue I would argue is curriculum. And we're going through a curriculum adoption process that is as painful as the standards adoption process. Uh, we have sort of one good result in the list that OSPI came out with, Linda Plattner and the State Board are doing a separate list. Uh, I'm not sure how we'll go about resolving it, but it won't matter unless we actually have money to pay for the curriculum. Uh, the way to enforce quality curriculum standards to reduce the number of different curriculums that we use so that our most at-risk children, which are our highly mobile as a result of poverty other, and a lot of other factors, uh, and get consistent education is to have a much smaller set of curriculum. I would have one where I'm the czar. Turns out that no one really wants me to be the czar other than me. Um, yeah, really, I, my children particularly do not. Uh, my daughter was quoted in this week's Bellevue High newspaper as saying in some article about how people formed their political opinions that despite having me as a father, she didn't line up naturally with all of my views, particularly around the law school, as pointed out in the newspaper. Um, we'll need to have better standardized tests to act for kids to exit the system and for progress checks along the way. And here's a place where every state having their own standards is insane, um, because it requires every state to have their own exam. Now, we're about 2% of American population in Washington. And it costs us a fortune to develop our own test every year. So I don't understand why we are different than, say, Indiana or California or Arkansas. I do know why we're different than Arkansas. But, um, <laughs> the, trying, we're trying to build a consortium of states uh, around the Achieve People, the American Diploma Project, uh, where the states would all agree to use a consistent set of exams. And Achieve has actually done a reasonable job with their first release, which is an Algebra two exam. And this is not like a single effort project. You can't just create a test and say, that's it, we're done, we use the same. It's not like the, the accounting professor my father had in college who used the same test with the same questions in the same order for generations. And he had, they, had, they were on file at the fraternities. You could pull out his exam. My father, the only way my father got through accounting school at Penn was he memorized the answers and had he actually had to, you know, regurgitate the mathematics behind one of these, or had they been out, out of order, uh, 
you know, I certainly wouldn't have been able to go to college. Um, <laughs> but um, trying to have, you have to have an item bank, it has to change over time, it has to be consistent. It's very expensive to build these tests. We spend tens of millions of dollars a year on it. It would be much better to spend the same money for 13 or 14 states and have this work out. Um, also, I would observe to you, and I don't know if this is true for you, Glenn, I have never, ever had a parent call me and bitch about the content of the SAT. And if they did, I'd give them the phone number in Princeton that they could call. <laughs> and I would really like to be in that situation with exit exam. Um, but, but this is one where we'll then be able to have a much higher level of rigor on these exams because they'll be external to the state. Um, and that's something that we may eventually have to get done at the national level. Um, I, I would agree with uh, Mr. Dean was that, um, on the content. I mentioned one time that, the, that there's too much in any given year. And that's largely because they keep circling around topics. Um, when we looked at this in Bellevue and truly tried to understand why our results were pretty erratic compared on the Wassel compared to our results on the Schmidt, uh, the TIMS study, which we had done, and we've done a number of other tests, which had pretty consistent growth over time. And you get these Wassel results that are all over the place. And it turned out you could not modify your curriculum to follow it, because there were too many things to sample at the time that they had for the test. So they sampled different topics. And sometimes they got a lot of probability, and sometimes they got none, because there were too many topics to test in the amount of time that 15-year-olds can sit still. Uh, and it's even worse in the, in the younger grades. And so trying to reduce those content will improve the quality of those tests we would hope. Um, my last two comments, and I always limit mine to what I can do on an index card, um, is other people have looked at the new standards, give them a B, not a C. So you may be a hard grader. Um, so we want to you know, we want to look at the z-scores of your grading over time, you know. Um, uh, but then I'd like to leave you with a piece of advice that uh, Dr. Mike Riley left me. Now, Mike's not a math guy, or he wasn't a math guy, if you know. Bellevue superintendent passed away recently, um, much too early. Um, he was an English professor, not a math teacher, which was a clear issue. Uh, he was not real good at listening, uh, but he had many other positive attributes. Um, and the advice he gave me was, yeah, you can spend a lot of time on all this standard stuff, but it doesn't really matter because most of these teachers aren't real strong on mathematics, and all they're going to do is follow the curriculum. So you'd probably be better off picking a good curriculum and then basing the standards on that rather than the other way around. But I'm not sure how well that would work. We've got a set of standards that, for better or worse, are much better than what we had before. We'll move forward with them for a while. Hopefully, we can make incremental improvements over them. We have to do the same dance on science. Uh, and the science Wassel results are worse than the math results. Um, and we need to reimpose a graduation requirement in mathematics soon, uh, or we will never be able to do it. There is very severe risk this year that we will lose all of our graduation requirements, which would be an unmitigated disaster for children. Uh, in this state, particularly children of particular of historically underserved population groups, where we would be able to go back to leaving them in the back room for another three or four generations. Uh, it's been over 50 years since Brown versus Board of Education. I'd like to actually make the system better and not revert. So uh, that's something that I am going to ask you to push your representatives about, is that we do need uh, standards on what students need to know to succeed in the world. Uh, they ought to be strong. They ought to be reasonable. Uh, you can do both of those at the same time. So, thank you.